Yes, coming. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. How are you, Bharat? I'm fine, sir. Bharat is your name? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Not Bharat. Bharat. Bharat or Bharat? Bharat, sir. Bharat. Yes, sir. Good name. Thank you, sir. This your first attempt? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. This is my first attempt in forestry, sir. And the civil service is also one attempt you have? I have given, sir. One? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thought of uh, coming to civil service is late? Uh, no, sir. I have been preparing for uh, civil services, sir. But uh, I had given uh, Karnataka public services, sir. Okay. So I was busy with that. So I didn't want to. Uh, Were you do... selected in that? No, Have sir. You... I missed by 12 marks in the interview. Achha. Okay. Mm. And you have uh, you were employed also two three times. Uh, yes, sir. Mm. I have worked in different fields. Uh, and varied ex uh, this extracurricular activities, mm. all those things. Tell me this uh, uh, this uh, green power electric vehicles. Sir, uh, when I was doing my masters, I had an opportunity to work with uh, different kind of students, where we had to build our uh, one electric vehicle for a race car. Mm. It was a race car, and we had to uh, race and win the competition so so that was the major project and i was heading the uh, marketing part so to collect the uh, revenue and uh, sponsorship which, for that. which power was used electric power sir. Electric. electric it was an electric vehicle sir and how that vehicle was charged electric vehicle was charged through uh, uh, normal diesel. charger yes sir, normal but charger can you say that is it was a green sir uh, it uh, I mean, it is not as green as we uh, want it, sir. But so somewhat green. Somewhat green, sir. Yeah. Because the uh, it, we are not using uh, internal combustion engine and uh, we are not using fuel, uh, fossil fuels, sir. So okay, just tell me another thing. Uh, suppose uh, we use this uh, solar energy. Yes, sir. Uh, we yes. say it's a green energy. Yes, sir. But the solar energy also is hundred percent green. Uh, sir, uh, solar energy. To manufacture solar panels, that we also, need that uh, is also we need. There is nothing hundred percent green. It is not hundred percent green as such of now, sir. But we are trying to uh, reach that goal, sir. Okay. Uh, see, you must be reading newspapers. All those issues of Nupur Sharma and Jindal and all yes, BJP sir. things. Eh? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, more loyal than the king. More loyal. More than loyal than the king. Yes, sir. Eh? So, do you think we need to have a, some code of conduct for political parties? Sir, uh, so, where it should be? It should be by the government or should be by some autonomous type of body which there is no control of anybody? Sir, uh, government has many works, sir. So, it would be difficult for uh, them to control everyone in the uh, country, sir. So, free speech is necessary, but it should be controlled by the uh, the news channels and other uh, other broadcasting agency also, sir. Mm. So that they shouldn't be broadcasting such uh, uh, bad. But there is no self control. Is there self control? Then this uh, media ethics also are there yes, internal sir. things. Everything is failing. Yes, sir. Mm. Sir, uh, in the heat of the moment, they would have told, but they should have apologized immediately, or they should so have retracted what, what, it. What, what type of body you suggest, uh, sir? Free from all political interferences, biases, and all, eh? yes, sir. and which which will be only good for the country. Uh, sir, I think uh, a judicially headed body and judicially recommended uh, committee can be uh, set up, sir, to uh, to look into these kind of matters, sir. So that th these kind of uh, stringent punishment should be given to people who have done this, so that uh, next it don't be happening, sir. What are biotic interferences? Biotic interferences. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm. I don't know. Biotic interferences. Forestry or taken? Yes, subject. yes, sir. Biotic interference. You have not heard of? No, sir. In our conservation of forest, what are the challenges? Sir, uh, the major challenges for our conservation effort is a uh, large number of bovine which are uh, entering the forest for uh, food and other uh, fodder effects. What are bovines? Bovines are uh, uh, herbivorous. Biological? 
Yes, sir. Entity. Yeah. Biological entities. Biotic, we say then. Okay. And yes, they sir. are interfering in our conservation efforts. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, yeah. sir. These are yes, That is one. There's so many others. Yes, sir. Uh, forest fires. Forest fires deliberate and forest deliberate fires, forest fires, fires by anthropogenic activity and mining. Pests. Pests and diseases. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Can you tell me if uh, three, four major uh, cement companies in our country? Uh, sir, uh, ACC is there, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, there is uh, Ambuja Cement, uh, mm -hmm. Ambuja Cement, and uh, there is uh, JW Cement. Yes, uh, JK. JK Cement. JK, I think this is no sold or something. Okay, mm -hmm. sir. This the these are the three I remember, sir. Achoo. Okay, uh, there are so many terms keep on coming. DIY, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, do it, yes. Ah, NIMBY, you know. Nim NIMBY. NIMBY. Not hard work? No, sir. Not in my backyard. Huh? Not in my backyard. You want to do everything. I need all facilities. Yes, sir. But nothing should be near to me, like uh, this waste yes, sir. management. Yes, sir. Waste dumps are there. Yes, sir. Uh, I need to throw my dump outside. Yes, sir. The dump should not be in my place, near yes, to my place. Hmm? Okay, uh, there is another one, D Y O R. Heard of it? Uh, no, sir. Hmm? Do your own uh, uh, research. Now people say research. crypto. Yes, sir. Heard of crypto? Yes, sir. Cryptocurrency. I take your advice. Yes, sir. Later on, I am doomed. Eh? Yes, sir. Then people are fed up. Okay, sir. You decide yourself. Yes, sir. Do your research and. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, this. Uh, 5G. Yes, sir. Something is coming up now? Uh, sir, uh, recently government has auctioned uh, 5G spectrum, sir. And auctioned already? Uh, no, 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 I mean, they're planning to get uh, 48,000 crores from the auctions. When? 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 Uh, I'm not sure, sir. That's what I read about. That was that. in the headlines itself. Yes, sir. Uh, that's what. Uh, uh, they're uh, planning to uh, auction them, sir. Auction the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the, how, how many uh, kilo megahertz? Uh, sorry, sir, I'm not sure. Okay. <coughs> Thanks. Uh, you are very, your profile is very, uh, your data is very, very impressive. Thank and, you, sir. Uh, very nice that uh, you are, want to join, but, but why you want to join Indian Forest Service? It's a very tough and rough type of job. It's not like that, it's a soft job. Sir, uh, 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 professionally, this is in All India Services and uh, it has a diverse opportunity, sir. And uh, it gives me a lot of uh, engagement with the uh, local people and at the engage only we'll get a leadership position and we'll I'll be able to work closely with the wildlife and the forest sir, which is a passionate uh, thing for me sir. Okay. What is the, uh, you know, uh, uh, Bangalore used to be called Garden City of India. Yes, sir. Why it was called and what is the situation now and what, what are the important three uh, species growing in the uh, Bangalore. Three sir, question. Three part of my question. Sir, uh, Bangalore was called as garden city because of uh, um, beautiful gardens created by the British uh, uh, administration, sir. Uh, such as um, Lal, uh, Lalbagh uh, Garden was there, and uh, other gardens are there, sir, which are uh, which are playing a huge part in conservation and beautification of the uh, Bangalore, sir. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, uh, and the second question is the uh, the trees which we uh, which we find is people tree and uh, banyan trees and uh, neem trees. And uh, there are many flowering trees such as uh, uh, pink poi, I think so. So, and uh, uh, there are teak trees and eucalyptus trees which are planted by the Forest Department and the go government, sir. What do you understand by the avenue trees? Ave avenue trees, sir. Yeah. Sir, avenue trees are uh, the trees which are planted on the sides of the road and the canals to protect uh, from the sh uh, heat and uh, to provide uh, uh, shade for the people who are passing and control the uh, erosion, sir. Mm -hmm. What are the important national parks of Karnataka? Sir, uh, there are five national parks in uh, Karnataka, sir. Anshi, uh, uh, Anshi pa National Park, Kudremukh National Park, and uh, Nagarole National Park, Bandipur National Park, and uh, Banargata National Park, sir. 
have you visited any one of them uh, yes sir uh, in banargatta uh, national park is close to my house and uh, nagarole is close to my house nagarole so okay I'll, what do you understand with the critical habitat areas critical habitat areas uh, sir i am not sure i would like to guess sir acha in a national park there is three zones yes, what do you understand by that core buffer and tourist uh, sir core areas is completely dedicated for the uh, animals sir, where there is no entry by any one except for the uh, research and uh, prior permission of the uh, officer over there sir and the buffer zone is the transition zone where tourism is allowed for a certain extent and research also is extent uh, allowed for certain extent but uh, there is no uh, large scale invasion from the, and there is a transition zone from the natural habitat uh, people and to the forest area which there is uh, 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 the people can uh, uh, cultivate and agri- uh, agriculture is allowed in that area and people can stay and uh, stay in over buffer area not in buffer, area. transition area sir Okay. Okay. Uh, how your management of uh, natural forest differ from agriculture? You are taking agriculture engineering. Yes, sir. How your management of a natural forest is different from maintaining uh, agriculture? Sir, uh, uh, agriculture. Agriculture is a. Uh, uh, it's a uh, perennial, sir. Every year we had we are. Uh, Uh, we have to plant new crops and uh, 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 new uh, harvest has been uh, brought out sir but uh, in the forest it is a long term process sir so management is done sustainably so that the future generation also can be uh, uh, getting the benefits from the forest you have taken forestry as your uh, optional yes, uh, what are the important management system we normally follow for a ideal forest areas sir uh, for, uh, forest uh ideal forest we can be a, a, there is clear felling system and there is a, a anywhere uniform. in india clear felling is still prevalent no sir uh, it, it has been uh, so what is the uniform shelter wood system is there and mm-hmm. uh, 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 what uh, uh, for a degraded uh, areas yes, what type of forest management we will normally follow for a degraded uh, forest area yes. uh, to avoid any more degradation we will uh, do selection filling systems so wherever selection it, filling uh, yeah. but it is degraded already it is lost all its prime uh, okay, uh, I mean, uh, timber yes, so it is degraded so in that in a common sense what you will apply the management system S- normally uh, sir over there uh, the major part would be to a forest uh, a forestation purposes sir sure so we will try to grow more uh, more fo- uh, forest and uh, try to protect it from any other uh, uh, any other uh, invasions uh, from the mm-hmm. uh, animals or fire and we'll protect uh, the forest before uh, Uh, turning into a, uh, uh, before change the conversion into any other management systems my last question is uh, what do you understand by the zero budget farming sir zero budget farming is a uh, method of farming uh, introduced and thought by uh, subhas palikar who told that uh, we can uh, we can we don't have to use uh, any fertilizer or uh, any sort of uh, pesticides to get a good crops uh, and he had given uh, different methods such as uh, jaivik compost and uh, mulching as the method to get more yield from the agriculture field sri lanka followed which system this zero budget zero budget farming or organic farming sir uh, they tried to go for organic farming sir and uh, that is that was one of the major uh, fall who was the scientist who suggested to sri lanka Indian scientists uh, to go for farming, uh, organic farming. No sir, I no, no, I, no. The name? No sir. No, thank you. Thank you sir. All right, uh, Mr. Bharat. Yes sir. So you have done MSc in engineering. Yes, yes. MSc in management, sir. Management, yeah. Yes, sir. So what is that? So well, how is it different from MBA? Sir, uh, MSc is a specialization, sir. Ma- in uh, masters in business administration, uh, there is a different kind of fields uh, which will be taught, sir. example finance accounting marketing everything will be thought over there sir in um, in uh, msc in management it is particularly it is a very technical subject and it is uh, dedicated only for the management of the other uh, parts sir i'm not able to understand management of other parts means what uh, uh, like 
one yes, specific. I understand the core of the question. Yes, what sir. is uh, MSc in management? You are talking about MBA first, then you are just trying to one line on MSc in management. What is MSc management and how it is different from MBA? Uh, <coughs> sir, uh, MSc stand is a technical subject, sir. Uh, uh, compared to MBA, which is a generalistic subject, sir. Generalistic. Uh, so in MSc in management, it's a very technical and very focused part uh, compared to the administration, business administration, sir. Give some examples to tell. Did you not anticipate this question? Uh, sir. Uh, it gives an impression that you never thought that this question would be asked. You are just saying it is technical. It's more technical. Yes, sir. Tell us how it is more technical. Tell us the subjects which is taught. Do a comparison. Um, I'm not sure, sir, how to answer that. Like that is what I had uh, understood. The about stress this. on M MSc in management is yes, on sir. what? You say technical. Yes, sir. So tell me, what are the subjects which is taught to you, uh, sir? Uh, over there, it is uh, uh, operations management, financial management, marketing management, uh, and uh, strategic international business management. So all the management part of the uh, business is thought about it. Thought about it, sir. Management part of business, but that is what is taught in MBA also. Sir, over there it is just a broad subject, sir. Example, finance. It's not finance management, sir. So over here will be trained for a managerial post in the finance. Uh, it will be like after getting a, a, a certain number of years of experience then the for the promotion of a manager uh, to get a manager post will be uh, will be requiring for this all right maybe post. you could prepare on that yes, uh, you were in salford yes sir do a comparison of salford and bangalore comparison of salford and bangalore sir. and bangalore uh, sir uh, salford has a river called uh, erwell sir and uh, in bangalore we have a, a river very uh, polluted river, sir. But over there, there is a, a good management. What of is that the name river, of the river in Bangalore? Uh, sir, I'm not able to remember. Sir. All right, continue. So uh, the that river can be managed over here also in Bangalore the way it was ma managed in Sabarmati River, sir, river front, and uh, uh, that river part can be. Um, enhanced in Bangalore also, sir. That is what the uh, under uh, the no, population over there is yeah. very less, sir. Like it's just one lakh uh, compared to Bangalore, which has uh, two crore population, sir. That's all. Only two comparison. Uh, uh, sir, uh, uh, the weather is completely different, sir. Weather is a uh, 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 temperate uh, climates over there, sir. Over, uh, compared to in Bangalore, which is which has a varied weather from. Uh, All right. uh, can you name some trees which you saw in Salford? Uh, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't know the names, but uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, trees which we can find in the uh, north uh, northeast and uh, north and uh, Jammu Kashmir uh, area can be found over there, sir. Example, sal and other uh, trees, sir. Have you seen Sal? I know, sir. All right, wildlife photography. Yes, sir. Tell us about wildlife pho photography which you do. Uh, sir, uh, I regularly go to uh, Nagarhole uh, forest, sir. And over there, uh, I try to uh, capture uh, uh, leopards, sir. And there's a black leopard called uh, Saya, sir, which is my favorite, and uh, I have seen it four times still now, and that is the uh, that is the reason I go regularly to the forest. Sir. Mm -hmm. Now, this butterfly park is there in uh, Bangalore. Can you tell us something about this butterfly park? Uh, it is there in Bangalore. Um, I'm not sure, sir. But, uh, it is in Banargata. It is one of the uh, popular. Yes, sir. Banargata, I visited, sir, but it's a lion and a, a, a tiger safari is there, sir. But, uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I forgot that uh, I had visited uh, butterfly garden. Also. Yes, sir. There is a butterfly garden and uh, uh, they have a huge varieties of butterflies over there. Which... Can you tell me the life cycle of butterfly? It is there in the, when you enter, all yes, that is described there. Uh, Life cycle of a butterfly. It's. 
I'm not sure, sir. But it starts from a cocoon and then it uh, becomes, it evolves into a butterfly, sir. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bharat. Yes, sir. Okay. So, Bharat, uh, I see that uh, you have graduated in, uh, I believe, communication? Yes, electronics, and electronics and communication. And communication. Oh, okay, okay, that's good. So, Bharat, uh, there was a lot of uh, discussion about the impact of 5G signals on the operation of aircrafts. Yes, sir. Can you tell me what was the issue? Sir, uh, I'm not very sure about it, sir, but uh, uh, it has an interference problem with uh, uh, air traffic control. That is why they are asking for them to not uh, use the area close to the uh, airport to trial, sir. Okay. Uh, have you heard of what is called an altimeter in an aircraft? What is its role? Uh, altimeter... Uh, decides the uh, shows the altitude of the plane, sir, mm -hmm. when it is in the air, mm -hmm. and uh, it is used to uh, for landing purposes and uh, takeoff purposes. Sir. Okay, so uh, does 5G have an impact on the altimeter? Is that a problem? I'm, uh, okay. I'm not sure. Okay, sir. you can read about yes, it. Sir. Fine. So, you have uh, done your post-graduation in management as well. Yes, sir. Can you tell me what is the present stand of India on the issue of climate financing? Uh, sir, climate financing, India's stand has been consistent saying that, that uh, the polluters uh, had to has to pay and mm. uh, it, the huge uh, polluters are right now the European nations and the United Kingdom, mm. uh, uh, USA which mm. are the developed countries mm. and they are supposed to pay for the uh, uh, transition of the developing nation and least developed nation to cleaner energy. So that is what our stand has been. Okay. Okay. And what are the INDCs that India has committed to? Sir, uh, in uh, Paris Agreement, INDCs were, uh, we are planning to increase our uh, forest cover, uh, forest sink to 2.6 to 3 uh, billion uh, tons uh, of mm. carbon dioxide and uh, then we are planning to uh, increase our uh, uh, capacity of renewable to 500 gigawatts and 50% mm -hmm. of the uh, uh, energy source would be produced from the renewable uh, renewable energy and we are planning to uh, reach to net uh, net zero by 2070 sir okay so the target is 50% from renewable energy or 40% Sir, 50, I, I think it is 50. Okay, okay. You can read about it. Yes. No problem. You are from uh, Karnataka, right? Yes, sir. So, can you tell me how many rivers originate in Karnataka? Sir, uh, uh, there are many rivers which originate from Karnataka, uh, Western Ghats. Mm -hmm. And uh, the major rivers are uh, uh, Krishna, hmm. Godavari, Kaveri and uh, uh, Malaprabha. Krishna and does not originate in Karnataka. Sir, from the Western Ghat, but uh, it uh, it uh, flows through the Karnataka for a little bit of part, sir. Okay. And uh, there's Tungabhadra. And uh, to the Western side, we have Sharavati and Netravati, which are the biggest rivers mm -hmm. of Karnataka, sir. Mm. How much percentage of the Western Ghats is located in Karnataka? Uh, sir, I'm not sure about that, uh, the area, specific area, sir. Okay. And uh, it passes through which districts in the state? Uh, sir, uh, it passes through the uh, western districts such as uh, uh, Shumuga, sir, mm -hmm. and uh, Madikeri, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 Uttarakhanda, and Udupi, and uh, Belgam, and other uh, state, other states, oh. sir. Okay, fine. You have worked as a financial analyst for two years as well. Yes, sir. Uh, what was your role there, sir, as an analyst? Uh, I used to, uh, we used to uh, trade on the stock markets uh, through mm -hmm. options and futures mm -hmm. and uh, that is the main role we used to play, uh, I used to play where we I had to research and tell them what to buy, what not to buy 
through uh, studying the chart patterns and uh, the uh, uh, researching the company's behaviors and the management, management. there is a term uh, in trading and in markets called as hot money yes, what is meant by that sir hot money is a uh, money which comes in just to make uh, from it's a, a part of fi which mm-hmm. comes to make just money and uh, take uh, take uh, money out of the country sir, after it has made some profit Mm-hmm. So it is not uh, there for uh, for a long time. It's just for a short time. Okay. Thank you, Varun. Thank you, sir.